Welcome back to Face the Nation. I'm Nora O'Donnell. Tomorrow, nearly 50 leaders from African nations will arrive in Washington at the invitation of the Obama administration to discuss increasing U.S. investment in Africa. But the event is being overshadowed by the outbreak of the Ebola virus as leaders from the three African nations where Ebola conditions are worsening have canceled their plans to attend. Earlier, I spoke with White House senior advisor Valerie Jarrett and former New York mayor Michael Bloomberg about how the crisis will impact the summit. The CDC has issued a level three travel warning for Americans saying don't travel to these countries. Not in, essential travel, exactly. To these countries in Western Africa. And yet there are some delegations from those countries coming to America, to the nation's capital for this summit. What precautions are going to be made? You'll be there. Are you concerned? No, we are, we are working very closely, as I said, with the CDC. We're making sure that we're um, going to observe any necessary protocols for screening. Um, the good news is the experts have said to us that it's not contagious unless you're exhibiting symptoms, and those symptoms obviously are quite severe. And so we'll be monitoring the situation very closely, but we're confident that the summit will be a huge success, and we will obviously take the precautions that are necessary. Mayor Bloomberg, you are very involved in the summit. What's your goal? The goal is to explain to Americans the opportunity and American businesses the opportunity in Africa to explain to the African continent why they should look to America for commerce, for education, for medical care, and uh, we can be real partners and rather than just being a patron of one of another. Some of the most the fastest growing emerging markets in the world are in Africa. Well, China's understood this. You know, yes. People think of Africa as a resource play. There are great natural resources there, which China needs and America needs, as does Europe as well. But also there's the potential for selling a lot of things there. The scale is big if spread out. But lastly, China's looked at it and said, this is a place where because they're spending a, the highest percentage of their GDP on education of any part of the world, although that, in all fairness, it's starting small, uh, but you're going to create a middle class there that's going to want an awful lot of the products and uh, be the next great, the, the next big cities are going to be in Africa. And yet I'm fascinated by essentially what China has done in Africa. Um, the United States was Africa's leading trade partner until 2009 when the Chinese surpassed it. We looked up the numbers. Now China's trade with Africa is almost two to one over the U.S. and China's foreign aid to Africa has increased dramatically too. Almost half of their foreign aid goes to Africa. Well, are we being outpaced by China? Uh, yes, yes we are and in all fairness to the Obama administration they recognize it and now uh, what we want to do is make sure business understands that and then business's job has got to be to help the president convince Congress. Mm -hmm. This summit has the opportunity in order to be a game changer. We really believe that we're switching the paradigm. And as uh, Mayor Bloomberg said, stop looking at Africa as simply a place in need of foreign aid and look at it for the enormous potential that it has for investment. And whether it's Power Africa, where the president is committing to doubling the power in Africa, or whether it's focusing on food security, where rather than simply giving um, resources to Africa, teaching Africa how to create their own agriculture, um, whether it's in areas um, like health, and Mayor Bloomberg was just telling me before we came on set about the enormous investment that he's making in health in Africa. All of these um, are opportunities for both government, but also very importantly, the private sector to invest. When we started inviting uh, heads of major corporations, the, the outpouring, almost nobody said no, right. because all, a lot of these companies have been doing business in Africa for 100 years, and um, they uh, understand the potential, and they aren't getting, they never get involved in ideology, or they just look for markets, and that's what they're supposed to do.